So this video was filmed. Now this is weird. This is for when I'm away. This is was filmed last week. Um, but I just saved it for now so that you got some farming content. Um, so yeah, here it is. Check it out. I'll say it's part two, but it isn't. It's part one of today's video. I think. Confuse yourself with doing this sort of thing. I'm. I'm not used to this pre-recording stuff. Normally just do it and it's out. But anyway, check it out. Business. Oh, and welcome to part two. That's one, isn't it? That's part two of today's video. Um, me, Em and Andy are, well Andy's still here, um, he was leaving, or he is leaving, to build a rabbit hutch. So so Em tells me he's building a rabbit hutch, is that correct? I think so. We'll ask him when he gets back. Um, and yeah, we're doing some mucking out, we're just tidying this up, but look what we've found in here. Fisherman, you're going to like this bit. Em's getting her fingers in there. <laughs> Give up, he's not bit you. Oh. <laughs> Em's gonna eat it. <laughs> a little wiggly worm, and it's a really red ones, isn't it? Yeah, earthworms. Is that what? No, they're not earthworms, are they? If they're red. Yeah. I thought earthworms are like grey, aren't they? These are like special fancy. I don't know. Joe seals, seals worms. They always come in muck. If it's well, well rotted muck. Where's the really red ones? I want some red ones. Where have they gone, Em? Here, look. Look how, look how red they are. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Love good soil, too. Good soup with them, Em. Not very wiggly, are they? No, I think mine's dead. Somebody name that worm. There'll be somebody who will know what that worm's called, Em. It's growing. I'm going to call it Harry. Harry Styles. <laughs> anyway. Did you know that? We'll get back to filling our bucket with worms. Oh, God. I can't put that on. Em said it was pooing. But in a different word beginning with S. Yeah. <laughs> There's like bright orange stuff coming out of it. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon Andy likes worms? <laughs> he doesn't like wasps though, does he? He doesn't like no, wasps or spiders. There's no worm or wasp or a spider. True. He might like it. <laughs> Do it this time, shall we though? If, any, if, if we get enough people in comments saying that we ought to throw worms on Andy, we can, we can make it happen. No, I suppose throw one and maybe like... Wait till he's sat down drinking his coffee at coffee time and creep up behind him with a few worms and just... And what, and just put a mic on his shoulder, put like a worm on his shoulder like, like that? Just like put a couple on his... And see what yeah. it says about it. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if, if you want it, let us know in the comments and we can we can make stuff like that happen. Because that's I'm easy. We can arrange it. Definitely. Business. It's back anyway now. So I better shift this uh, TM out of the way. And we're going to get a bit more muck out. Oh, we're blasting it about, filling these up with milk. Pom, pom, pom. Difficult to do one-handed. It's definitely a machine that you need to use both hands at the same time. And it's rather tight. Sorry, right, I can use my elbow. Um, it's rather tight getting around here. If you fall off the edge of the concrete, it takes a bit of getting back up. So yeah, we'll get this out and then Andy will come in with his straw blower and straw these guys up. Of course, they all want to get in the way. Hey, we all want to know, are you building a rabbit hutch? What's that? Are you building a rabbit hutch? Am I building the rabbit hutch? Yeah. I'm preparing it, yeah. <laughs> How many rabbits you got now? Um, two big ones and three little ones. Yeah. Crazy. You gonna have a rabbit, Em? What? You gonna have a rabbit? I've got some. I don't want a rabbit. Uh, I bet Becky, if I said to Becky, Andy's got some baby rabbits, yeah. she'd, be, she'd be like, I think we ought to get one. Yeah. Bring the kids around, they can see them. 
Yeah. Not got to look after him then. Yeah. Why were you just borrowing it at that time? No, it come from next door. <laughs> <laughs> Emily. Right, go on then, tell me your family tree then. So, your gran. My gran. Yeah. My granddad. Or my nan. It's confused me. So it's gran, for like the old ones. The old, old ones. And then it's like nan, for the like your mum's mum and dad. Right. And then it's like mum and dad. So, so I've, I, I, how I'd call it is grandma is like my mum's mum. And then my great grandma. No, it's just grand. Grand's for the <laughs> oldest. <laughs> so the oldest woman is your gran. Is your gran. And then your mum's mum and dad, whatever you want to call them, is your nan. Is your nan. Your granddad's just your granddad. What, oh, all the way through? Yeah, they're just all little men, aren't they? See, I'd be like granddad and great granddad. What does everybody else do? Because M's proper confused me. Because when she was talking about a granddad, and then sadly your uh, gran. Yeah. Passed away, didn't she? Recent, not like about it's six months ago, so a year ago. Now I thought Gran and Granddad were like a couple, no, not and then now I've just been blown away because no, it was Granddad's mother. Yeah. Yeah. Granddad's mother. Yeah. Complications. I've got a couple. Of, I've still got um, like three great. Great, whatever you will call them. Great grand, grand 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 grandma, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but my family are right young, aren't they? Yeah, you're young and all, aren't you? Right, we'd, I forget that I'm old. Well, I'm not yeah, old, but, but I mean, like, my granddad's only like, my old. Yeah, and he's 60s, and you say? Yeah. Well, same way I'm old. I'm yeah. I think they thought, I know, 11 at the same time. <laughs> Anyway, right, we're back to shoveling. Yeah. The story, Ems thinks this is really weird, by the way. Yeah. Go on. Right, so basically, my granddad's, my mum's dad and my dad's dad, they knew each other before they were family. And then, like, they worked together. And then, like, 20 years later, they're, like, sat in each other's houses, having a family gathering. That's, like, a bit incest, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's how things happen, like... So like, if it's local people, like you normally end so up with like local you people, and don't they? You and Andy know each other, sir. Yeah. And then you both have kids, so your little girl gets with his little boy. And then in like, I don't know, 30 years time, you'll be like sat in each other's house. You're going to church Good. together. <laughs> and thinks that's dead weird. They're not related. You're not going to tell me that like, the cousins no, no, or something. They're not related whatsoever. They're just friends. Just more friends. Yeah. There you go. So choose, choose your friends wisely because you might end up being family is, is, is M's point there, I think, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not related in no way, but we're still family, aren't we? Yeah. He's off with another load. Away he goes. He's off now, going building rabbit hutches. No, preparing yeah. rabbit hutches, sorry. Have you? B&Q? Yeah. I don't know. There you go. I thought I could hear a tyre going down, it's not right, it's not right, it's something else. I'm going to drop the bucket off on the 9 metre. I think. So my dad's just feeding out into these cattle pens now. So we'll get the rest of these cattle fed. Hey guys. I'm going to take the load of muck on the 210 out. Now the schools have uh, finished letting out. So oh, I'm just coming into the field now, just going to let the trailer push us down here in the low gear in a tractor. That's it, we're nicely down. We'll get this load of muck tipped off in here. That's a tipped up right to the top. We'll get that back down and we can set back off home. Yeah, does look a beast. See a 4 before has made a bit of a mess going across there. It's nice. 
Well, that's what we got to put up with it. Get on with it. So houses are coming along. Got windows in them now. Solar on roof. Bit of a view. Me and my dad are waiting for the mix to tip off. And I'm just here putting the bales out ready for tomorrow morning. Get everything pre-prepared. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. All that business. Doing what I don't like doing, which is ferrying the bales all the way down the yard. Uh, I like to put them on the trailer, but we just it's a bit difficult to get a trailer in at the minute. So this is the only means of doing it. M's um, just tipping mix off now. That's it all tipped out. Me and M are just shutting up the gates now. Andy's not here, he's building his rabbit hutch, as we might have said a million times. It might be in BQM. He said he was going to get some curtain mails as well, you know. But he was just he was just pondering whether to go to Argos or whether to go to B&Q. Yeah, no, that's nice. I suppose the Karen said it might be cheaper in Argos than B&Q. I don't know. Wouldn't you go to like Denelma or something? Not Argos. I'm sorry, I don't think Argos has curtain mails. <laughs> well, maybe you do now. Maybe they do now, Em. Um, so, yeah, if you've liked it, remember to press like. Remember to subscribe if you've not already. You know that 50, something like 55% of the people that watch, so over half, aren't subscribed. Okay. I think that might be, I think I might, I might be wrong there. It might be more than that. But um, more than half, at least more than half, aren't subscribed. It's free to subscribe. It costs you nothing. Um, so yeah, thanks guys anyway. Um, it's been a pleasure. The cows said bye bye, they're waving. M's done the chain, so she's waving. Bye, see you later.